Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 1, we proved that God exists, and that it's possible to prove God exists, even without getting into religious beliefs. In Season 2, we talked about religion, proved which religion is correct using a series of syllogisms, and discussed the nature of objective moral values. In Season 3, we addressed some of the best arguments in favor of atheism, pointing out why none of them really hold up, and last season, we defined what's meant by each and every virtue and fruit of the Spirit. This season, my intention will be to address one of the most important questions that anyone can ever ask, a question which touches on a lot of other important and complex subjects. Why do I have to obey God? Now, before I begin trying to answer this question, I want to get one thing out of the way. Technically, literally, you don't have to obey God. You can choose to disobey Him instead. What we'll be addressing here will be whether there are valid reasons for choosing to obey God rather than to disobey Him, and just what those reasons are. Fortunately, we've already touched on this subject a few times, particularly in episodes 17, 30, 48, and a number of others. I'll be referring to some of the reasons established in those episodes, as well as a few new ones. Reason number one for obeying God. You know you have a moral obligation to obey God, even though you don't really want to. I place this reason first, because I think this is probably the highest and most meritorious of the reasons for obeying God. Why do I think this? Well, this is the reason that Jesus had in the Garden of Gethsemane just before being crucified. And if he didn't really want to go through with it, do you really think it's going to be something we can just convince ourselves to want? Reason number two. You realize that obeying God is the best thing for you, and this can come in a large variety of flavors. Maybe you know that God wants to make you perfect, and you want that. Maybe you want to become more like God yourself. For whatever reason, whatever your other motives, you know that what God wants is better for you, and you go along with it out of a kind of desire to better yourself. Now, there are guys who will say reason too is just an attempt to hide selfishness in a holy-sounding robe. That's ridiculous. In episode 17, I said that selfishness is taking action to benefit yourself. I didn't mean that as a definition, and I'm sorry if it came across that way. Selfish acts always involve an attempt to benefit yourself, but firstly, they don't always work, and second, they have more to do with putting your own well-being over the well-being of others than with just doing things that benefit you. So when we talk about selfishness in terms of saying, I'm following God's will because it's the best thing for me, this is not a selfish desire, because even though it may be the best thing for you, that doesn't make it a bad thing for other people. In fact, it's the best thing for them as well. Therefore, none of these reasons are actually selfish. Reason 3. You realize that God wants what's best for you, and you trust Him, even though you may not like Him very much. This is a pretty common misconception nowadays, but believe it or not, you don't need to like God in order to do His will. Oh, it'll be easier if you do, but nobody ever said this life was supposed to be easy. As we talked about last episode, the difference between loving God in the sense of the virtue of charity and liking Him are miles apart from each other. One does not imply the other. Reason 4. The reverse of Reason 3. You obey God because you do like Him, but you're not sure whether to trust Him or not, usually due to some bad experiences with untrustworthy people. I think this one will give you a much harder road than Reason 3, to be honest, because at least with Reason 3, you know that God really wants what's best for you. Even if you don't like Jesus at all as a person, being able to trust that God will keep His word can be an enormous comfort in the dark times in your life. Still, I'm not about to say it's impossible for a person to experience doubt and still do the will of God just because they like Him. Reason 5. A lot of good things have been given to you, and you're genuinely grateful to God for them. Most newcomers to the faith won't be ready for this one right away, but it really is a beautiful reason for obeying God. Reason 6. You actually embrace and agree with God's plans for you and for the world wholeheartedly. This can actually be a pretty dangerous one if you're not careful. We need to remember that a lot of evil things do happen in the world, and we shouldn't be agreeing with those. Reason 7. You recognize that you're not infinitely wise, infinitely powerful, or infinitely virtuous, and that God is, and you respect that superiority of God enough to obey Him. This is just a basic infinity is greater than one equation. It requires some willingness to believe, of course, but it's still only a basic understanding of our relationship with God. And finally, reason eight. You recognize that man is mortal, and that the afterlife is a real thing representing a genuine reward slash danger for you. I actually think that this is probably the lowest reason for obeying God, and it's no wonder that atheists are always the first ones to bring it up in a debate. 
You're much better off obeying God out of a moral sense, or because you trust him, or for the benefit of all concerned, rather than because there's a threat of some kind hanging over you. Still, when you're first starting out, the reality of the afterlife may be the only thing strong enough to motivate you. I admit, I still rely on it for strength now and then. Over the course of the next several weeks, we'll hopefully get to talk about the various issues involved in giving us these reasons for obeying God, trusting in God, natural law, the nature of sin, the reality of the afterlife, and so forth. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.